What up, y'all? It's Aquaman out here checking in, bringing you the build of the week winner, Predtronics. Let's get right on into this thing. Check this out. So this is Predtronics, an assault healer. Pretty much made to be a secondary healer while being able to do sustained damage over time and protect the healer in case your healer needs heals. It starts off with an MDR. Uh, currently this one has Intense and Confident. I have another one that has Adept and Fierce, depending on if I'm running Pulse or not. MP5, um, Deadly, Hurried, and um, Confident. So you could also get one with Responsive. It's entirely up to your preference. The chest piece, Vigorous with Skill Haste and Health. Uh, I have Electronics and Skill Haste mods to increase my skill power because this is technically a you know, weighted in skill uh, or skill power build. Uh, if need be, you can take some of the electronics and throw it in the firearms. So that is something that, um, and that would usually be done in PvP. So skill power in the on the mask is a major, and um, firearms. We have electronics and skill power. Uh, burn and shock resistance are always good for having uh, minor attributes if you plan to take the build into PvP. And I do, but I um, don't have the armor for that. So let's see what we have here. Uh, Predator's Mark. So this has a pretty low roll on the stamina. So skill haste is a major attribute. Gloves, skill haste, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage with firearms. And the backpack comes in specialized with skill power and ammo capacity. So uh, if you want to make this an easy swap, you could usually just sw swap your backpack, add more firearms to your backpack while keeping your skill power relatively high. As you can see, I don't have enough space in my inventory. Um, and that's pretty much the build right there. So it is basically wrapped around having um, some firearms and having electronics and utilizing the the damage that you do to an NPC. Now, self-preserved might also be a nice move to put into the MP5 or maybe even into the MDR. Um, so that's something to look at in, in the future. I will be putting together a striker build that has self-preserved on the MDR. So that's going to be something cool to, to check out. On to the talents and skills. Uh, right now I have uh, pulse activated. because As you can, as you can see, um, the pulse is rather strong. Uh, but you could use a bunch of different skills. Disruptor is a, a pretty good one to use if you were looking into that to cool down. Sitting at around 16 seconds. Uh, you could also use turrets. Or you could use uh, Seeker Mines for uh, adding some form of negative status effects. So really increasing negative status effects uh, helps a lot with this build. And the support station does about 10k per second, which you could also buff uh, a little bit higher. So it seems like you can kind of use it for anything. Uh, so for whatever the tactician is not running, um, or your healer, whatever the healer is not running, and you could pretty much back it up with this. That in a nutshell is the build. Uh, onto the talents because I didn't even break those down. Right now I have triage, critical save, combat medic, and strike back. 1.6.1 we will be able to add, uh, where is that bad boy right here, shrapnel, um, which will cause targets around you to bleed uh, from the predator's bleed and not just uh, grenades or negative status effects. So that's Predtronics. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want to know uh, how we do these things, leave them below and check out the game footage. Didn't really capture a whole bunch because by the time I uh, submitted this, I was already on to the next build and you know now we're running Hunter's Faith. If you haven't already, check out the Hunter's Faith Effective Toughness builds or the Effective Toughness Breakdown and we really appreciate that. So thank you so much for your time. If you like what you see, subscribe below. If you like it, give it a like. If you dislike it, give it a dislike. Uh, but keep in mind this is an assault healer so this is a part of a team composition where you would be supporting the healer making sure that you could do enough damage to anybody that's attacking the healer as well as uh, heal the healer so something to think about when moving forward in your team composition y'all have a great one it's the equipment i checking out we about this bitch peace